what fact is common knowledge to people who work in your field, but almost unknown to the rest of the population? Nominal pipe diameters are not indicative of their actual diameter, so a one pipe is rarely actually one in either outside or inside diameter. Why? I have no idea. But if you drill a hole of exact diameter and stick that pipe in there, you're going to have a bad time. More people die in lifeboat drills than they do in any other marine incidents. I'm a sign language interpreter. This is based off the comments I get from the general hearing population. 1. We do not take care of or help the deaf person. We work for them same as we are working for you. 2. No, I'm not related to this deaf person. I'm not even friends with them. Most 911 calls an ambulance receives on a daily basis are not remotely close to being emergencies. Being a civil attorney, we almost never go to jury trial and the job can be unbelievably boring. And the time and expense involved. It's not uncommon for suits, particularly those of large dollar amounts, to take three to five years to reach resolution, and the expenses can easily run into the mid-six figures. Just settled an admitted liability crash case, where the only question was damages. Mid-six figure settlement, high five figure expenses mostly for doctors and experts took three and a half years. The residue analysis tests you see in every police procedural show out there, hugely unreliable in real life. Also, fingerprints. They are not as easy to find as TV tells you, and even if a good fingerprint is found, that doesn't mean is going to be of any use since the all-encompassing fingerprint databases of fiction simply don't actually exist. If that isn't enough, here's one thing more. Psychological profiling is a pseudoscience largely useless in real-life crime solving. So, yeah, Hollywood basically lies about everything regarding actual criminal investigation, particularly homicides. Most murders are solved because things are pretty clear from the get-go. The girl had a jealous boyfriend who asked to meet her. Dude had an enemy who actually told everyone he was going to kill the other guy. Studying the dynamics of the case. How the person was murdered what kind of information and access was needed to commit such a crime, and who had said information. Access and reason to do so, is usually how you solve a murder, and those that can't be solved this way. Well, most of the murders that end up becoming mysterious were not mysterious at all, they became a mystery after a botched investigation, sometimes purposely, and those that are indeed mysterious, will most likely remain unsolved forever. Heartworms are treatable for dogs but not for cats. Also, keep on top of your heartworm prevention for your dog. If they get heartworm but you can prove that they've been continually covered which isn't difficult, the receipts are good enough, and your vet will have them in their database, then the heartworm prevention manufacturer will pay for the treatment. Office copiers cost upwards of $7. Oh 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 some can go for $15. Oh oh oh, two oh. oh, oh, oh depending on print speed and capacity. My girlfriend's uncle is an architect at a big architect company here. They recently bought a new printer that could do all kinds of advanced stuff that was over 700k. It was under a water pipe which had a faulty connection. The pipe burst. Printer rendered useless. Yeah, office copiers are beefy, but printers used for technical applications like architectural plans or construction drawings are on whole different level. Just because a disabled child person is non-verbal, that doesn't necessarily mean they can't understand everything you're saying. It's crazy how often I have to tell my own staff to watch what they're saying. These kids still get embarrassed or upset if you talk about the massive sh** they just took right in front of the whole class. I am constantly reminding my staff of this. So frustrating. Just because the kids aren't making eye contact classic sign of autism doesn't mean they aren't still listening. Most likely they are listening better when they aren't looking at you because they aren't focusing so hard on maintaining eye contact. There is no difference between a violin and a fiddle other than how you play it. A friend of mine played in the Manhattan String Quartet and he calls every string instrument from a violin to an upright bass a fiddle. I think he does it mainly to annoy the other musicians if they don't play folk music. The maximum spacing between spindles in a railing is four because that's the average size of a baby's head. Most building officials will carry a four sphere with them when doing inspections on new construction. Similarly, when public play structures are being evaluated, 
the evaluator brings two size paddles, one which is equal to the average size of a newborn's head, and one that equal to the largest average size of a child under 10. They then stick the paddles in all crevices of the play structure. If the smaller one the head can get through, the bigger one body must also be able to, otherwise the structure won't pass inspection. There is a period of time every year that in the US, the Department of Transportation pulls over any and every truck that they can. During this period many trucking companies take vacation time, as the potential hassle is not worth the money made during this time. Not my current field, but when I worked at Starbucks not a lot of people understood that a larger espresso drink does not always equals more caffeine. A tall drink has one shot, grande has two, and a venti also has two, unless it's iced and then it gets a third shot. So many times customers would order a grande latte and say you know what, you'd better make that a venti, I can use the extra caffeine when in fact the larger size is just more diluted with milk. If you are looking for more caffeine, a drip coffee is going to be the most bang for your buck. Also, this seems really obvious, but a lot of people would get upset when they ordered a flavored coffee and saw that I would put syrup in it. No, coffee beans do not naturally come in caramel, vanilla, toffee nut, raspberry etc. Flavor. <laughs> Military grade does not mean it's awesome. <laughs> Neurodegenerative diseases start way before the first symptoms appears. No one wake up suddenly one day with Alzheimer's. From actual data, it seems that the disease is rampant for 10 to 15 years before the first symptoms. Some research say that you can start identifying abnormalities 20 plus years before the memory loss begin, and it works for all neurodegenerative diseases AFAIK. What kind of early signs can be seen 20 plus years prior to the first real symptoms? I work in Parkinson's disease research. For Parkinson's it's loss of smell, REM sleep disturbances and constipation. These can start up to 20 years before motor symptoms develop. There is currently no treatment to stop or slow the progression of the disease. As a UX designer in the US, we hate having to localize the text for use in Germany because German words can be ridiculously long compared to most other languages. An elevator will go up to the top of the hoist instead of crash to the floor in most catastrophic failures due to the counterweights. I don't know if that makes my elevator anxiety better or worse. The best treatment for a child with anxiety is treating their parents' anxiety. Well f Thanks for making me look back on my life realizing my mom was afraid of everything and would hammer these fears into my head as a child and now I am terrified of everything from snakes to sharks to roller coasters to heights to public speaking. I feel like I live in a bubble. My mom created. I'm a lifeguard so nothing special. But while training to be one I learned that nearly no drowning victims ever wake back up. They usually die. CPR only has a 10% success rate and even then the chance that they will be a veggie for the rest of their life is something like 80%. So in reality you have about a 2% chance of ever being normal again if you drown. Moral of this story is, wear the life jacket if told to and stop arguing with the lifeguards about how your child is a fish. You cannot go from having black hair to silver or platinum blonde in one sitting. It takes multiple and nine times out of ten. Your hair is fried beyond repair by the end of it. Kim Kardashian or whoever you pinned on your Pinterest page or Instagram is wearing a wig. In some museums, what you see on the shelves can be less than 10% of the whole collection. For example, the Louvre has over 460 000 items in their collection, and only has space to display about 35,000 of those roughly 8% of their total collection due to limited physical space. And for aesthetic purposes, most items in museums stay back in storage and or archives. Plus. Most items need to be maintained at certain temperatures, and light. If we can't meet those needs, it will never be allowed for public viewing, ever. There are most likely some of the most amazing, visually stunning pieces of artwork, that you or anyone will never get to see. Bonus. Accession under accession can also be a touchy area. Just because it's old, doesn't mean we're going to take it and add it to the collections and we try to be nice to people who are disappointed we won't take their precious family heirlooms. Other times, it's easier just to say, yeah, we don't want that. The toner in your printer is plastic being melted onto the paper. 
Drowning is silent. I pulled out a kid literally less than a foot away from a large group of adults and not one of them noticed that his head was totally submerged and that he was struggling. In jewelry. A diamond is a luxury expense not an investment. Gold is the investment. If you try to sell your engagement ring you'll get maybe 20% of what you initially paid for it. Jewelers can get diamonds for a fraction of what you paid for it. Potential cancer cells develop in the human body every day and our immune system efficiently kills them without any trouble and we just go on living our lives like nothing ever happened. Many of the cells the immune system eliminates may not have progressed to the point where they could cause disease and there are many other mechanisms through which the body curbs cancer development. Virtually every piece of copper, aluminum, or steel you come across has been chopped to bits, refined melted down and used to make whatever object it's a part of, dozens, if not hundreds of times. Copper pipe, probably started out as hundreds of different wires from various devices from around the world at one point. Most herbal supplements can and will give you adverse side effects when mixed with other medications. Always tell your doctor everything you're taking. And grapefruit. Grapefruit interacts with everything. There is a surprising amount of infrastructure under your feet. You'd be surprised how much public utility runs underneath private property. Always call before you dig. We had a garden in our backyard growing up. I used to dig in the spots where my mom didn't have any plants growing. I decided one morning that I was going to dig to China I was young. Okay, and kept going until I hit a thick black cord. I stabbed at it with the shovel, and saw all sorts of colors inside it. I thought I'd found some treasure. But what I was actually looking at was dozens of individual wires inside the cord. And what I'd done was take out the cable TV for the entire street.